Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our F-18C and we're looking at using the AGM-88 in target of opportunity mode. There are three modes we can use it in. We can use it in self-protection mode, we can use it in target of opportunity and in pre-brief mode. Self-protection mode came out a few weeks ago so we've already covered that. So now we're looking at the target of opportunity mode and then the pre-brief mode will be out in a few weeks I suspect. It's super easy and super fun so let's get to it. So we've got three times hostile SAMs or radars in front of us that are going to try and shoot us. Uh, so let's get our usual stuff set up. We're going to get the RWR set up here. Uh, we've got a boat on the left, a Type 54 destroyer, and we've got an SA-6 there and a big bird that is an S-300 there. Okay, if we go to our stores page, I'm going to select our harms. We've got four times harms here. So we've got seal protection mode there, which we've had before, and now we've got the target of opportunity, so we're going to click on that. And what we've got here is rather than a plan view or a bird's eye view, we've now got a forward facing view, a bit like a maverick. So we're looking at what the actual seeker head sees looking in front of us of the selected missile, and that is station eight there we've got selected. Regards to the symbology, the one with the box around, like SP mode, is the one that we've got selected. The actual symbol, so the U is an unknown, that's how we know it's gonna be a ship in this case, the 06 is an SA6, Big Bird is a, I can't remember if it's a search and track or track radar for the uh, S300. And the little U sign down there means this one is uh, a boat. So if we move the aircraft about, we can see that they move above and below the horizon. If I turned right, for instance, then these guys here would shift off the screen to the left. Out of interest, if, if they did shift off to the screen to the left, we would no longer be able to see them, but there would be an arrow up here pointing left or right if uh, to tell us that there are other radar contacts that way. So next, let's go through some of these menu options we've got here. So we've got limits, uh, we press that there, and it's gonna limit the amount of contacts that it shows us on this display so if it's a real target rich environment and there's just too much it'll show what it considers the most highest priority threats next is scam so around the outside here are the different categories of which the radar contacts can fall into so um, i haven't seen a list of these so i can't name them all but ones that i do know are all so this covers everything this one is friendly radar this one is confirmed as hostile radar this one is a primary radar this one is an unknown radar and all of these others, I don't know. I'll update this video when I found out what they are. And this list here is which categories the actual radar contacts that we're receiving fall into. So the three radars that we are, can see at the moment fall into the all category, the hostile category, that, that, and that category. And if one of them was, the, was a friend, then it would obviously fall into the friendly category. If it's a dot, then it means that they are roughly in the center in front of us. If it's a left arrow, then they are off to our left and right arrow off to our right. So come out of there. Harm override is currently not available, will be implemented later. It's currently mid-March 2019. If I press reset there, it'll automatically uh, select what it deems as the highest priority threat. So if one of these threats here was, for instance, locking us, it's gonna consider that the highest priority threat and select that. Out of interest at the moment, it has chosen the ship as the highest priority threat. Also, like the RWR, this screen here can tell you if a hostile is locking you, tracking you. If it is, it'll have a little line above them and uh, someone will do that in a minute, I'm sure. We can step between our stores. So we're currently on station eight. We can step between two, seven, three and eight in this case classes similar to what we saw this allows you to choose which category is going to be displayed so we've currently got all selected so everything can be displayed if we just wanted to see what radars are friendly we would click on friendly and then we've got nothing viewable okay so next we're going to look at the controls so to cycle between targets we've got that button there to hand over firing information from the selected target to the actual missile we're going to use cage on cage and to actually select the screen for use we're going to use sensor control switch left and to fire as ever, press and hold, weapon release. Okay, so to make it more exciting, let's unpause and, and let's get some guys locking us. Let's speed up. As ever, when it comes to actually shooting these things, the usual missile ballistic supply. So the higher you are and faster you are, the further this missile is gonna go. But we talked about that in more detail in the self-protection mode, so we won't go over that. Just one thing to denote that if you do go high and fast, the hostile will also have a better firing solution at you. 
Okay, we've got our first lock. It's the boat, and he's fired a missile at us, so it's time to get working. He has fired at us, I believe. Yep, that is a big missile coming towards us, so we best respond. Out of interest, we can see that he has a line above him, so it's him that's tracking us. Uh, we need our master arm on, our air-to-ground mode on. We should have done that to begin with, really, but that's okay. Uh, now, we're going to center select left until we get diamond in the top, le uh, top right of this screen here. We're then going to press cage uncage, and we'll get this ready sign from the arm, so we can now fire with weapon release. We're now going to select another target with the I key. We're now going to cage and cage, fire. Select another target with the I key. Cage and cage, fire. And fire again for good luck. Cage. And the sun missiles away. Of course, they're far and forget, so we can get the hell out of here. Wow, he really wants me dead, doesn't he? should be chaffing here, but I uh, didn't set my countermeasures up because I'm silly. Okay, let's see if them, any of them make it through. Well, obviously not. How about this one? Nope. Third one down. And the fourth one. Boom. They were all shot down, that's rather annoying, and that is typical. So the only way we could have beaten those was a full-on kind of squadron iron hand technique, but uh, I can't talk on my lonesome. But that was showing the TEO options. As soon as the pre-briefed uh, option is out, we'll go and do that. Hope that helps, and see you later.